and then you spoke about that engagement with the industry how, how are they approaching this with the data that you're presenting in terms of moving forward it's, it's really encouraging to see that the data has had a positive impact with the industry and, and they've fed back to us um, and they, they, you know, they've commented and it's, it's all about encouraging that wider conversation. You know, we, we, have, a, we have a healthy and collaborative relationship with, with the industry. We want to work in partnership to create a, a safer environment for anyone, anyone that, does, that does gamble and safe pathways to treatment for those that can no longer gamble and, and wish to you know, seek help and, um, and, and get treatment. So the data is really important from our part to, to be able to show them, you know, this is the impact of what we do. These are the sort of um, cases that we are being presented with at the time. These are the trends, you know, it may be a case that Gordon Moody traditionally years ago, you would, you would see um, older men, you know, sort of 40 plus that have, that have been gambling for years, that have been you know, gradually being beaten by, you know, <laughs> various issues and then, then eventually sought help. Whereas, whereas now we may see younger people with the 24 hour culture, different ways to gamble, different access into gambling. We have seen a steady increase in the amount of women reaching out for help. Now, whether that's the fact that there are more women gamblers or not, it's, it's, the fact that there are more women reaching out for help and that they have a different set of needs and issues um, than some of our male clients. So it's important that we address those needs. The data helps inform us and it helps inform the sector. Um, and it obviously contributes to, to the data provided by everyone else within the sector to, to try and create a more coherent picture of, of what the state of play is with, with gambling harm in, in the country.